pouring out here, guys. No joke. It is day one out here on the California Delta, and man, is the water muddy. It's crazy out here. I've never seen water this muddy. Uh, maybe a couple times I have actually, but I didn't fish it because there's a lot of clear water out there that I had accessible to me. But uh, that's not the case right now. We definitely don't have clear water anywhere, um, I don't think. So we're gonna search around for it, but I don't think we're gonna find it. For anybody new, my name is Matt Luna, and we are at the Delta for the Major League Fishing Toyota Series event. Uh, this is stop number two of the season. It's uh, early March out here, mid-March, and uh, fishing's been tough. Um, guys aren't even catching limits in team tournaments, and everything's just tough, but we got a few days to figure out these fish. And uh, I'm getting a late start today. I had to drive up last night, slept in my truck, and now we are out here trying to get a few hours this afternoon before we uh, get all rigged up for tomorrow and really get after it starting tomorrow. But let's go out there. Let's see what we can find starting on day one. Well, we figured out a little striper bite. We can catch them on a crankbait. I threw the swank and caught a striper, and then I threw the uh, Crush 50 and caught a striper along the Thule's. So we're gonna make a move and just drive and just find stuff that looks good. It's kind of weird. These Thule's that I'm looking at right now look almost like they're burnt on the bottom. I, I don't know what it's called, but I think there's something that like eats the roots, and I think these Thule's are dying, so they're probably not gonna be the right ones to be around. aren't the right kind guys good morning everybody welcome to day number two it's the first full day out here on the Delta getting a start here this morning and uh, we're gonna see how it goes went to dinner last night at the rusty porthole it's a little like restaurant bar that's pretty close to where I'm staying and uh, it was like five different people nobody caught a bass I think maybe one guy caught a bass uh, so it's real good out here. Team tournament with 33 boats, seven teams even weighed fish, one limit, third place had 2.8 pounds. So yeah, it's fishing real, real good out here. So we're just gonna have to put that in the back of our mind and just know that it's gonna suck. And we just gotta figure out a way to catch fish and get bites. Bites are key, if we can get five bites, we're gonna do super good in this tournament. Um, there's gonna be people that don't catch fish in two days out here. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna see what happens. We're just gonna put our head down and go. That's the game plan.
we can catch stripers out here, but we can't catch a bass to save our life, unfortunately. I've caught stripers on chatterbaits now and crankbaits. No bass. Well guys, it's pretty brutal out here. Been out here since 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 1.30 right now. We've caught one striper today. Talked to Justin earlier and he hadn't caught anything yet either. Um, I don't know that it's an area of the lake kind of a deal or if it's just that brutal. Um, I think it's just that brutal. Usually you can get bit doing different things up here. You may not catch big ones, but you can usually get bit. Pouring out here, guys. It's no joke. It's pouring. Mm -hmm. 